Those who are branded with the dark sign will live forever. But is eternal life a blessing or a curse? The theocracy in the land is based around the way of white, which follows the will of Lord Gwyn. Serving under Gwyn are esteemed houses like the House of Thurland. Think for a moment about what you know of churches that existed in medieval times. Churches seek control of all people in the name of God, and are conservative by nature. They fear change. One day, people become branded with eternal life. This would disrupt the balance, and naturally the church would fear this. But how to deal with it? Should you label it as a blessing and as the will of God? No. If this eternal life ended with people losing the will to live and becoming hollow, then why not label the dark sign as a curse? We don't know what made the dark sign, but the church made it evil. So, what happens if a member of the church becomes undead? To keep the age of fire going, bonfires can be fed humanity through the art of kindling. Hidden deep within the catacombs is rumored to be a technique where bonfires can be fed to grow even stronger. The Way of White seeks this knowledge to better serve Lord Gwyn. The first undead member of the church was a paladin in golden armor. Equipped with legendary treasures, he set out on the first undead mission of the Way of White. A mission for the rite of kindling. From this point forth, all undead within the church are sent on this same mission. This serves two purposes. Firstly, if any undead succeeds in retrieving the rite, then the church will grow more powerful. Secondly, it doesn't matter if the mission ends in failure, because the church will have rid themselves of accursed undead. Rhea is a daughter of the House of Thorland, which is inarguably the most prestigious religious family. However, she becomes undead, and even her high birth cannot save her from undergoing the undead mission. So Rhea is shipped to Lordran with two companions in a futile search for kindling. Upon arrival, Rhea meets Petrus. Petrus is an undead cleric who resides at Firelink Shrine. He guides undead on their mission. But there's more to this man than there seems. Your first clue comes from the items he has stashed under Firelink Shrine. Your second clue comes from the Pardoner. As thou acquaintance with Petrus of Thurman, I wager you two had likely found much in common. For is he not too drenched in sin? <laughs> Shortly after they arrive, Rhea and her party disappear deep into the catacombs. For a while, the player will notice their absence from the game. Eventually, however, Petrus will return, and he returns alone. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. He's lying. Petrus will gladly admit to his crimes if you discover the truth through Lortrek. Petrus reveals that he hates the lady for her high birth, but why did he abandon her? Perhaps he doesn't think she's worth it. Perhaps he is a coward. Or perhaps it is his job to ensure that undead never return from the catacombs. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Maiden Thuraland and her followers recently arrived in this land, but she became stranded deep below the catacombs. Her followers either fled or were reduced to hollows, leaving Maiden Thuraland all alone. Not a bad tip, huh? A new bar cleric would be replete with humanity. Lortrek suggests that you rob the helpless girl of her humanity. She is alone in a dark pit, surrounded by her hollow friends and no way of escape. You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? Have you spoken with Sir Lautrec? Splendid. 
In the depths of the catacombs, Milady slipped off the giant's coffin and into a hole. Her two companions are no longer human, and the lass weeps in solitude. Right now, you could do as you please with her. The poor little purebred is entirely helpless. You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Oh, it's you. You rescued Milady. Well, a pity that is, for it will amount to nothing. For the little madam is not worth her salt without her family name. <laughs> After everything, you find Rhea alone, praying in the church. Dear Vince, dear Nico, forgive me. I have lost all those who were close to me. Perhaps Petrus realized my weakness all along, and thus made the decision to abandon me. I can hardly blame him now. If I do go hollow, then finish me off. I beg of you. This is where the path splits, but both paths end in death. If you do not kill Petrus for abandoning Rhea, then Rhea will die. Petrus plays innocent, but if you kill him after her death, you will find her ivory talisman upon his person. Perhaps Petrus kills Rhea to keep her quiet, perhaps he hates her high birth, or perhaps disposing of undead is his job. But if you kill Petrus for abandoning Rhea, then she will not be assassinated. By the lords! You damned fool! Enough of you! Feel the wrath of the gods! Fool! What were you thinking? Too bad for you. I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. Driven to madness by emotion? So be it. You'll make a fine hollow. You can waltz in the infernal depths together. No. This can't be. It can't end like this. If an undead has a purpose, then they will not hollow. Rhea will teach you miracles in the church until she has nothing left to teach you. Shortly after, she loses the will to go on, but she continues to pray. Rhea is a highborn girl who becomes undead. She no longer has a place in her homeland, and is cast away to be forgotten. She does her best, but fails to find the secret of kindling. Betrayed by a man who hates her for a high birth. Tricked by Patches. Lusted after by Lortrek. And responsible for the death of her friends. She is rescued by you the only one in Lord Run who gives her mercy. She repays you with miracles, but she soon teaches you all that she knows and is of no use. And there are eyes watching. Channelers are the eyes of Seif, and can be found in many lands. One of them frequents the undead church. While their motives are largely uncertain, it's known that Seif captures maidens for his experiments. The Channeler spies Rhea as she prays, and takes her to a cell in the archives. And that is where Rhea hollows, and spends the rest of her days. If I do go hollow, then finish me off, I beg of you.